In this tutorial, you will learn how to generate bypass codes and manage your devices to add, remove, or reactivate a device. As you know, multi-factor authentication requires you to log into university applications with both your username and password and an additional device that verifies your identity. The purpose of generating bypass codes is to allow you to gain access to university applications when you are unable to use your device for multi-factor authentication. If you need access and do not have your device, the first thing to do is to call the service desk at 301-405-1500. They will give you one bypass code that can be used one time. You will use it to generate additional codes for future use. Once you have called the service desk and acquired a one-time use code, visit identity.umd.edu slash MFA profile. Enter your university directory ID and password, then select Login. Instead of sending a push, enter the bypass code you received from the service desk, then select Login. When this screen appears, you will have the opportunity to generate additional bypass codes for future use. Select Generate Bypass Codes. It's a good idea to select 10 because you can use a code one time only. Note that the codes will expire after 180 days. A list of bypass codes will appear. Print or copy them. To use one of the codes you have generated, log into CAS using your username and password. Then select Login. When this screen appears, instead of sending a push, select Enter a Passcode. Enter one of the generated passcodes, then select Login. In this portion of the tutorial, you will learn how to use the Manage Your Devices feature to add a device, remove a device, or reactivate a device. You can manage your devices by visiting identity.umd.edu slash MFA profile. Enter your UMD directory ID and password. Select Login. When this screen appears, select My Settings and Devices. Use a push or enter a code to complete your login. To add a device, select Add Another Device. Make sure you have Duo installed on the device you wish to add. Select the type of device you are adding, then select Continue. In this example, we will select Tablet. Select the type of tablet, then select Continue. Install Duo Mobile on the device you wish to add if you have not done so already. Then select, I have Duo Mobile installed. Open Duo on your device. Tap the plus symbol. Now, use your device to scan the barcode from the screen. After the barcode has been scanned, select Continue. Your newly added device will appear under My Settings and Devices. To delete a device, visit identity.umd.edu slash MFA profile. Enter your UMD directory ID and password, then select Login. Select My Settings and Devices. Use a push or enter a code to log in. Select Device Options next to the device you want to delete. Then select the trash can icon to delete the device. You will see this message. Are you sure you want to remove this device? Select Remove. Your device is now removed from the My Settings and Devices listing. To reactivate a device, visit identity.umd.edu slash MFA profile. Enter your university directory ID and password, then select Login. Select My Settings and Devices. 
Use a push or enter a code to complete the login. Select Device Options for the device you wish to reactivate. Select Reactivate Duo Mobile. Ensure that Duo Mobile is installed on the device you want to reactivate. Then select I have Duo Mobile installed. Open Duo on your device. Tap the plus symbol. Scan the barcode from the device you wish to reactivate. Select Continue after the barcode scan is confirmed. Now all of your devices should be displayed under My Settings and Devices. If you need assistance or have questions, contact the IT Service Desk or visit Terrapin Tech in McKeldin Library.